Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in creating a platform game in Scratch. So this is where I left you last tutorial. Hopefully you've now got your character cut out nicely and you've got the four animations necessary to make him run. So we did the work last time in the costumes tab. Now we're going to switch over to the code tab and we're going to write the code today to get him moving from left to right and right to left. So first thing we're going to do is find the when green flag clicked, which is under events, just here. Next, we're going to go to the looks tab and select show, because later on we're going to write some code which will hide him you know, when the game finishes, which is useful. And finally here, we're going to go to the motion tab again, and we're going to get the go to command. So we want go to X and Y because basically we want to start him off in the right position in the game each time you know we restart the game. So we're going to start him off in the far left hand corner which is minus 240. If I drag him over here you can see the X coordinate changing here and the Y coordinate changing there. So 240 is about right because I want to start him off sort of down the bottom um, left hand side here. And I'm going to set the Y coordinate to minus 117. And if I click on the green flag now, you'll see he starts just off the screen, ready to get right into the game. Next one we're going to use is a forever block. So we're going to drag that in there. And we're going to use an if statement. So we've got an if here. And we now want to check if a key's been pressed on the keyboard. So that'll come under sensing, because we're sensing a key press. And it starts off with space. But if we click in there, we can then select right arrow. Next we want him to point in the right direction. Now this means we don't have to duplicate lots of code. So if I click here, it will face him it always in the correct um, direction. We're going to change X by 10, so that will move him across the screen to the right. So we look for change X, there we go, change X by 10. And finally, to get the animation going, it's really straightforward in Scratch. We can just put next costume and pip, pop it in there. So now when I press the um, green arrow, look at that. <laughs> there he goes. How cool is that? He's running. So we've got now his movement going to the right. And we need to sort him out going, obviously, back to the left. Now, there's a cool feature in Scratch where you can save the amount of code you write. So I'm going to right click. So I right clicked here and then left click on duplicate and it's got me a lot of the code I need already. We don't need these again because we've already got them but we do need most of this. So I'm going to click in here now and change it to the left arrow and instead of pointing to the right I'm going to put a minus in there so minus 90 and that will get our costumes, our character pointing to the left. We don't want to change X by plus 10 we want to change it by minus 10. So this will mean that he will now come the other way across the screen because just like in maths, X is along and Y is up and down and it's the same here in Scratch. So if I press the green flag, we can now run across to the right and hey presto, we can run across to the left. Now one thing to know, if you want to smooth out the movement, you can add more um, more costumes. So for example on the costume settings here if we had more costumes with more graduated movement his running would look smoother again. So that is something you can do to improve on what you see here. Well thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on movement and we'll look next time at getting him to jump and add some platforms in and some gravity. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.